Good evening, degenerates. I mean, class. My name is Professor King Joe, and I will be your substitute teacher for this evening because the regular teacher decided, I don't know, she just doesn't want to show up sometimes. But don't worry, I won't cancel class, and I won't abandon you like she does. Now keep that in mind, I'm not as nice as she is, so I won't hesitate to bring the hammer down and wreck souls if y'all start messing around. All right, so let's get to today's lesson. We are going to be talking about the Ainu people of Hokkaido Island in Japan and their art and stuff. Okay, so many scholars believe that the Ainu people descended from the earliest settlers in Japan or during the Jomon period, if you remember, because we did a lecture on that, I guess. They lived on the northern island of Hokkaido, which is, they called it something else, I don't remember exactly, I think it started with an A, but to modern day people, we know it as Hokkaido. All right, in the Edo period, which is what we were talking about a lot, the Ainu people were treated like foreigners, so they didn't really trade with them, they didn't really associate with them, they kind of treated them like they treated the Europeans, which was... Hokkaido was eventually annexed by Japan, and the Ainu people became what we know of as today as Japanese. All right, as for the art portion, firstly, we're going to be looking at... All right, Joe, all right, hold your horses. Don't worry, I got this. Just sit back and look pretty while I talk about the Ainu bear cuttings. Ahem. <clears throat> the Ainu people of Hokkaido created wooden bear carvings. As you can see in the pictures, the most popular style of the carvings is of a bear with a fish in its mouth. The reason why they used wood for the carvings is because wood was their best resource at the time. The Ainu people admired the bears. They were used to provide food, and their fur and bones were tools. And they even kept the bears as pets. The Ainu people even considered, quote unquote, the bear as a mountain god in disguise. They had rituals for the bears. During the ceremonies, people dressed in their best clothing and had feasts, drinks, dances, and they even had prayers. To this day, wooden bear carvings are still around and are being sold in souvenir stores. So, now I guess we can go back to Joe and humor him because I know we all just want to get through this video and go home. So let's just, I guess let's just go back to him and let him do his thing. Okay, so now, secondly, we will be looking at- The Ainu people of Japan were very resourceful and interesting in their fashion choices. A lot of the material that they used to make clothing was fashioned from animal hide of bears, foxes, and seals. Clothing was even made from bird skin, feathers, and fish skin. Currently, the Ainu have stopped a lot of these practices of using animal hide and moved on to more popular fabrics today, like cotton and silk. Aside from animals, the Ainu also manipulated plants into material fabrics. They used plants like wild rye and bark from elm trees. A different Ainu group in Russia called the Sakhalin, usually dressed in white garments with fabric also crafted from the bark of trees, usually the straff tree. In the late Edo period, cotton became a prominent material in mainland Japan, and the making of garments and embroidery became more elaborate. This spread to the Ainu people, and these elaborately embroidered clothes were called Runpei. Overall, the Ainu were very creative and unique people in their fashion and style choice, which set them apart from mainland Japan. Okay, so before I lose any more brain cells, lastly, we will be talking Shut about- Shut it, The Ainu people were well known for their patterns. They put patterns on mostly everything, from clothing to carvings and even people. These people would decorate clothing with different patterns depending on the region the work was produced in. Ainu women had black tattoos on their faces that were similar to modern day clowns, like Joe. This was done by making small cuts and injecting ash from fires into the cuts. If you think that sounds painful, try being in a group with Joe, twice. Anyway, that wraps up Ainu culture and patterns. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, you know what? No, never mind. You know what? I'm done with this. 
Teach your own class. I'm out of here. Can't get, we can sleep in this class.